Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and this video is about a new website, a new-ish website that I've used recently to write long documentation very easily. So uh, some of you guys like using Google Docs to make uh, like word type documents. Here's one called Hackpad and what this does is you similar concept it's on the cloud you write uh, word type documents but it's got a couple cool features uh, that really help if you are in a team environment. So what I mean is right here you see that uh, we have our frequently asked questions for router gods. Uh, before uh, it was in PDF format, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to transition it to Hackpad. So this is the title. When you log into Hackpad, it's, it's a free account. And uh, when you log in, you're going to be presented with a list, kind of like um, a list of your documents. And whoa, we got our work stuff there. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll just keep it up here. And then if you uh, double click on the particular document, you're now working in, in that document. So I'm safe to scroll through here without giving away uh, company secrets. Now you'll look on the right side, you see we have a table of contents. And this table of contents allows me to jump very quickly to the sections. Now you may be asking, is it hard to make a entry in the table of contents? Well, no, it's not. Uh, if we go down to, let's say, certification questions, you'll see that it's bolded out and there's an underline. You don't necessarily have to have underlines, but uh, let me show you how easy it is to put something in table of contents. I'm gonna go down here, hit enter a couple times, and I'm gonna say uh, test section. Okay, so typed in there, you'll see that nothing's happened in table contents. That is to be expected. Now, if I select that, I have an option to create a link, so I can make it a hyperlink. But what I can also do is I can just bold it out. And as soon as I bold it out, it has immediately popped it into table of contents. That is pretty cool. And I could do a couple other things. You'll see that if I go just to the left of that, I have a kind of like a minus symbol, a dash, if I click on that, I could uh, change it to underline, so bold and underline. I could change it to just bold. Uh, well, I can't really change it to bold because it's already bold. And then I could change it to normal, which is just a normal piece of text, so it's not doesn't have a, a jump to section in the table of contents. So let's just click and click on B again. So now it is a section in the table of contents. I can jump to it very easily. So that's one really, really, really cool feature. You can have a collaborative document that everyone's editing their own section. Now, you may be wondering, what is this collaborative thing that you're talking about? Well, if you scroll up to here, you can invite people. So you can put their email address in there and they will get an invite to Hackpad. After they sign up, they'll be able to access this document. Everyone can edit this document at the same time. And that part is very, very cool. So you can make very good team documents, very good wikis and FAQs with none of the stupid markup that you have in wiki. You can insert, as I said, links. You can insert images by clicking that. It will also take images, just drag them in there. And you could also make tables in there. Now you may be as asking silently somewhere in your room, Okay, what if I don't want people to edit this? Well, you got a couple options. Uh, first option here is you can see it's open to anyone with the link. So you send them this link, uh, they can see it. You can click on this and you can say, okay, only the people I invite will be able to see this. Or if you're brave, you can let everyone see it. So this frequently asked questions will be everyone eventually. Now what you probably want to do is go down here to this section right here, kind of like in the bottom uh, right-hand corner, moderate changes. So you'll see there, you see end moderation. So this means it is locked. If you click moderate changes, what is cool about this is you will be sent a link. Uh, so every time someone makes a change and you've created this document, you will be sent a link in uh, email. It says uh, Bob has just changed and added this to your document, which is a very, very cool feature. Now you can see the changes. I'm just gonna type a bunch of crap in here. You see the changes, if you click there, it's gonna load up Hackpad and it will highlight all the changes that have happened and it will tell you when the changes were made. 
So this is a very cool feature for people who just need to log changes, lawyers, that type of stuff. It's very, very good. Okay, now going back down here, there's another option that's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, so the history, you've just seen that. Yeah, that's the history, no big deal. Now here's what's cool. You got two options here, embed and print. If you print, it takes out the, all the formatting. And so this is print. And what you could do is if you have a uh, print to PDF, you could print this and make a PDF of your, uh, of your hack pad with the links already in there. Links, pictures, and all that good stuff. So that's nice. If you run a website or a blog, you can click embed, copy the script into your page, and you will have a live hack pad inside of your website, which is pretty awesome. And to make a new hack pad, very easy. You just click on this plus sign, double click there, change the title, and you have a new hack pad. Another cool thing is you can link hack pad to hack pad, so you can kind of chain them together. So frequently asked questions. So inside of here, I can highlight that, create a link, and you can see link to existing pad and I don't need to type in the whole thing. I just type in a word, it looks by keyword, and bam, create. And if I click on there, it takes me to the other hack pad, so I can chain these together, which uh, is really, really cool. And then another thing, probably the last thing we'll talk about is you can make checklists. So let's see. Uh, check pupil, check blood pressure. Uh, raise arm, uh, count to three. Okay, some of you in the medical field may know what that checklist is. We will withhold comment there. You can change these into checkboxes, so you can use this program to make very quick checklists. Also, you can comment on stuff if you want by clicking comment, blah, 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 blah. Someone can look at that comment and make appropriate changes. All right, that was a quick and dirty seven and a half minute video about Hackpad. Very awesome. It's free. Sign up for it.